This is Stephanie at High Terra Stitching. After years and years of cutting on dining room tables and pinning on floors, I finally have a space for all of my sewing. And my goal was to make a space that worked for me, where I had everything that I needed. And as I got more into more into quilting since I retired, this has really been fun. Um, on the door, I have things that looks haphazard, but I have specialty novelty fabrics on there. And I have an old rack out of a refrigerator and a couple of those that you can hang up and make great ways to have a flat place on a wall. And then when my mom passed away, I inherited this bookshelf and it became a great place for my fat quarters. And you're going to see, I like to see the material and I'm lucky that the house sits east to west. So there's very little direct sun that comes in and then it can hang things on the walls. Then over the last two years, I have taken all the things that were in the closet that were not sewing and they have migrated into other parts of the house. And this has really be fun, been fun because yesterday I was even working on it, thinking about doing this video. And I culled things. I have my magazines in there all protected and sorted. And then some different boxes of projects that I like to go back to. I've got two great windows. I have another bedroom now that my daughter's getting married. But the light is not as good, so I think this is going to be my sewing home for now. Then I took two um, all horses, and they were almost the right size height. And for years, the last two years, I had been cutting and cutting. And one day I said, you know, I cut so much one day that my back was starting to hurt. So we went downstairs and we found another door. This is the last door that I have and actually put it underneath there and that raised it and it is just perfect now. And right underneath it, because it's nice and high and the sawhorses don't take up much room, when I'm cutting, I have a box for light strips. I have strips, two, three, four inch. I have just a basket that pieces, I'm not sure where they go. There's a little table next to it, and it's great for setting things in on. And on the bottom of it, I have my light strips, and I also have the samples for free motion quilting down in the bottom. And easily and easy to get to. That's what I like. Place for my embroidery things. And then I just couldn't throw the selvage away, so there's a basket. I use those for tying packages together, tying bundles of fabric together. And I still have my shelves, and I added this pink shelf in the corner. And over the last two years, what's happened is as I've gotten some larger pieces of fabric, I've actually started with five and six uh, yards on that shelf. And then on the next shelf, it keeps evolving. So there's a stack of two yards, then under, under that's three yards. And then down at the bottom, I have a bunch of reds and then kits with um, fat quarters that came together. This rack has been great. I still have this rack, and I reorganize it periodically. I've got my four-yard stack, and then I have my mixed stacks, which I generally keep in by color, but every once in a while it gets all messed up, and I sit down and, and redo that. Um, one of the things, so one of the things that changed was raising my table and the other one was getting into the closet and using it as a good space. And then another thing that I did, here's my other table. This is where I do my ironing. And I still do it here. And I, after I wore out this mat a little bit for cutting, it came over here onto this table. One of the things I noticed, I was having trouble fighting with the cord on the iron. And so I took a hook and hooked it up on the board. And that's really been nice. Now I don't have myself falling all over that as it's hanging there. And then again, because I've got the door and the sawhorses, I can take and make shelves, have shelves underneath there. And we just took a couple of boards and stuck boards on those. So that made it off the floor. But it also gave me another level underneath there. And there I've got my things like stabilizer and Wonder Web. 
I've got a basket of goofy fabrics I can use on the back or inside that I really don't want to use. And then batting that was left over. And there's the rack that my daughter got out of the trash and brought, called and said, do you want this? And I said, yes. And even after two years, um, I still love it. I wouldn't change it. I keep looking at pegboard and I keep going, no, this does about what I want it to do. This is Stephanie at High Tower Stitching. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my 11 by 13 room and how I've got it organized. And if you like to be organized, I hope this helped you. Please subscribe and hit like. Thank you.